the top three stories that we are following tonight. The first one is PennDOT having a message for all drivers as we head into the winter season and specifically when it comes to driving in snowstorms. Definitely a lot of restrictions and we're also giving you an update on the Erie County budget. They're actually, County Council, they're actually meeting right now. They're at, some of them are at odds with Erie County Executive Brenton Davis. We're going to tell you why in just a couple of moments. And also Matt Gates dropping out after he was tapped to become Attorney General by President-elect Donald Trump. We'll have more on that ahead as well. But first, uh, before the anticipated winter weather across most of the state, the Pennsylvania Department of Transportation, or PennDOT, is advised drivers to avoid unnecessary travel during storms. PennDOT will also be putting speed and vehicle restrictions into action when there's a winter storm. Now, PennDOT crews are also pre-treating roadways to prevent ice from forming. So right now, there are some vehicle restrictions that went into effect in Pennsylvania. We also have travel tips from PennDOT, like staying at least six car lengths behind an operating plow truck and never try to pass or get between several trucks plowing side by side in what's called a plow train. Also tonight, Erie County Council members are meeting right now to potentially approve next year's budget. But several council members in Erie County Executive Brenton Davis are at odds over that proposal. Now, according to Councilman Rock Copeland, County Council found that nearly $700,000 in expenditures were underreported. They also found that nearly $2.1 million in revenue was counted twice. To avoid a tax increase, Davis has proposed using $3.8 million from the county's rainy day fund Based on their research, Copeland says the county is actually facing a $7.2 million deficit. Our Mackenzie Robson is there right now, and we'll have more on this vote tonight. And former U.S. Representative Matt Gates has withdrawn his name for consideration as President-elect Donald Trump's pick for Attorney General. The announcement comes one day after he and Vice President-elect J.D. Vance met with Republican senators on Capitol Hill. In a statement released through his social media, Gates referenced the support of many, but that his confirmation was becoming a distraction to the Trump-Vance transition. So the Florida Republican scrutiny by some members of his own party followed allegations of sexual assault and a sealed report by the House Ethics Committee. Gates has denied the allegations against him and has not been formally charged, but he resigned from the U.S. Congress last week, and it's unknown yet if he'll try to take back his seat. At Stories Big Talker across social